Hi guys, it's Cody Afro here. I'm bringing you another Opsi 2 Let's Play video. Finally, I'm actually getting to uh, have a look at this Scania Citywide GN14 bus. It's been a bit of a interesting bus to get going and set up because it's been, uh, well, its original state is pretty much, well, it's playable, but it's a bit weird on the physics side, and that's probably the biggest complaint so far starting out with this actual bus. Uh, I have to say it looks pretty good. Uh, don't question the uh, middle wheel here uh, because uh, this I'm running this with uh, a kind of hot fix patch that someone in the community has actually made and it's on version 1.01 .01. and the thing is also just to, before we even get into the video there's actually an extra video that you guys can watch that I've unlisted. Uh, and it's actually the actual, it's supposed to be this video, what I'm now releasing, which you guys see in your subscription box or whatever, but I decided not to release the original version because that version had the bus in uh, with a patch, a, pa a community hot patch fix for it, which was version 0.8. And that one apparently wasn't as good in, as this one, which now has solved problems from that one, which pretty much had similar problems to the beginning uh, like the normal vanilla version of this bus it's the physics were just like crazy like you were getting this this bus was like doing kangaroo jumps and stuff like that it was crazy and it just it just really wasn't a, a proper Scania experience essentially it just it just really wasn't good and the thing is this patch changes things with like camera angles and uh, camera views I mean and it also changes like sounds of the engine and stuff like that which is pretty cool as well and also the suspension dynamics which i think was the biggest problem with the with the first kind of you know last version of this bus so hopefully we can actually do hopefully do a route or whatever with this bus in this video but if you guys want to see an extra video a bonus video which is actually the first original video of that was supposed to be this video that you're watching now uh, in the top right there'll be a little pop-up now coming up saying you can go to watch this bonus video and uh, that's for you know every kind of user PC tablets and mobile users and then There'll be also an annotation now for a while, which will lead you to the bonus video as well as the link in the description where you can go and watch uh, the uh, the video on uh, we were doing line one one five in that video I do believe, and that was uh, and also there was a kind of problem at the end of that video where the map kind of just like cut itself in half essentially and then it was just all white or whatever. So that video I just wasn't really happy to. To, to, to kind of publish so that's why I'm leaving it as a bonus video so you guys can watch it there you can also redistribute it as well and share it to people I've just unlisted it. it's not private or anything so you can share the link with people if you want other people to watch it or whatever but that's just a bonus video that's not going to be the video you're going to you're not going to be able to see it on my channel or in your subscription or whatever it's just here from this video is the only place that you can get from and then when people want to share it around then from those kind of links or whatever but it's not an official kind of like you know official official video it's just a bonus video but it's like 56 minutes long so it's like a proper video but it's just a bonus one in this video however we're going to be doing line 110 on berlin x10 and hopefully the bus will cooperate with us nicely the shout outs for this video go to and they, and they are, will be the actual same as the bonus video because the bonus video was supposed to be this video so i'm just going to keep the shout outs the same to not complicate things the shout outs as in the bonus video as well for this video, go to Gordon, Little Dog, and World of Trains. That's again, Gordon, Little Dog, and World of Trains. The links and stuff will be down below here and also on the bonus video. And the thing is, as well, uh, it doesn't matter which way order you watch them in, but obviously there's a chronological order. The bonus video was shot first and then this video, so... If you want to do it in chronological order, go and watch the bonus video, come back to this video. Or, if you want to watch this video and go to the bonus video, it's totally up to you. You can do it any way around, but the chronological order is bonus video first and then this one, if you want to do it in that kind of thing. Line 110. Uh, we're currently here at Rosneck. It's kind of in the kind of inner Berlin kind of area, and uh, we are going to Hetzale. That is the line. It's kind of a kind of nice little shortish inner city kind of line, which is quite nice. We don't have to be actually driving a bendy bus. It's mainly for solo buses. But I thought, hey, let's do a smaller line and let's show off this bus. It does look kind of odd with this kind of suspension kind of thing. I do have to admit. Let's put like if I put in the electrics. So if we go inside, actually, if I put in the electrics, that hopefully should sort out things. There you go. It's kind of lifting itself up, which is 
very nice. We could also turn on the engine, to be honest. Hopefully if the engine goes on. The engine comes on? No? Does that turn down? No. There's this weird thing with the engine. I don't know how, like, it, with this patch, it's kind of made the kind of ignition thing a little bit weird where you have to kind of... I do... Yeah, I do it with the actual... I actually do it with the mouse. Weirdly, with pressing M. I don't know if you have to press M, like, three times or something like that, but it's a bit weird. But that's now turned on the engine, which... This engine sounds completely different in this patch, which is version 1.01 .01 to version 0.8, and also the, the normal version. Sounds a bit better. Sounds like a Scania, the, the the patch creator said. So I kind of believe him, even though I've never seen this bus in my re in real life. So I'm gonna have to go with that trust. And obviously, you guys, you can comment down and tell me if it's at all sounding like the Scania citywide. I can see the uh, Scania city bus there logo. That's quite nice. I'm in the BVG livery. The uh, bonus video had another BVG livery with some writing on the. Uh, uh, on the windows or whatever, but other than that, the external, I have to say, that the favourite thing about this bus for me is the actual visual. It just looks, look at this, it's just, it's, it's a Scania, for God's sake. It's, it's, it looks tough, it looks mean, it doesn't look like it can break, it, it looks like it can go on top of mountains and down and back and five times over, whatever, it just, it looks tough, it, it doesn't look like, you know, cutesy or whatever, like a Mercedes-Benz or a MAN, even though MANs kind of look a little bit tough, but this looks menacing, and it, just, it, it gets its kind of, you know, DNA kind of from its cousins in the tracking lorry department, so, you know, you know, Scania make, have made some pretty good buses, and they've actually made quite a lot of London buses and double-decker buses for London as well, which is pretty cool. The doors actually are pretty interesting as well, like, you have the front door, which just opens like that. You have the middle door, which opens like a popping sliding door, and then the actual back door opens like a like the front door. So we have like a you know a different door in the middle, while two kind of the same kind of mechanisms for the uh, openings of the doors, which I think is pretty cool. You can also turn on the lights while we're here. Actually, have a little bit of light there, which is pretty cool. I've set up the time timetable already. We need to leave at 18 past, and I do believe now it's like seven past ten. And we have to leave at 18 past 10, so we still have some time. We'll fast forward time once we get this all kind of like set up or whatever. But those are the doors. I think they're pretty neat. We can close them now. We leave the front one open just for a bit now once we get things rolling along. Let's have a look at the interior. Looks very, very smart. Very clean. Nothing too... Nothing too complicated. Nice, uh, nice uh, upholstery or whatever. It's, uh, it's nice. I have to say one thing again with this patch is that you get different camera views to the normal kind of stand, like normal vanilla kind of uh, bus. So I definitely recommend getting this patch. The links and stuff will be down below for this video and also in the bonus video if you want to like download this bus and uh, the the hotfix patch as well. This bus was suggested also by uh, by the way by T King three one seven on the Quite Yef reform. So uh, thank you to him. I've definitely just been looking at this since it's been uh, since it was actually shown to me that it was actually being made for this game. So I've been pretty excited to have it, but it's not been the funnest of things to kind of get around and drive with, to be honest. It sounds like a drum, like an African drum. Damn. <laughs> could do a little, like... I could have a little orchestra in here of just, like, closing and opening windows. Damn. But anyway, that's that's essentially the, uh, the, 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 the interior. It's nothing special. You have, like, this LCD screen here, but that doesn't actually work like the one on Gladbeck um, on the Mercedes Citaro C2, so don't get happy if seeing an LCD screen because it doesn't work unfortunately. I like this kind of thing here, you have uh, this kind of the map of Berlin which is really cool. I thought, I thought that was just really neat and really like fun to have there. And it's like transparent a bit so like you can also see it from the outside if you zoom in here. I, I do kind of like that, it's quite nice. Like, normally the maps are just like behind the driver there but I like that they put it on the window and it's like transparent and it's actually a legit Berlin map which is very 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 nice. 
But I think that's that's it. That's the, that's the kind of general tour of the bus, really. Nothing else really to show. Just more camera views and stuff like that. The camera views with this patch are just like much much better. And we're inside the engine. Very nice. Don't look back. <laughs> Very good views actually. Quite a lot. That's quite a nice one to try driving from here. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the front because we need to obviously set up our bus. I'm going to have the lights on because why not? I know it's like the middle of the day, but it's very dark. I've kind of put the real weather setting on, so it's going to it's going to it's pretty dark. It's really like wintry weather or whatever. I'm going to have the lights on because I want my dash to be illuminated. I might turn them off during the journey as well, so you know, but I want my dash to be illuminated. You can see here the Lovely, lovely, lovely um, dials and stuff here. The nice Scania logo. It's just, it's just a beautiful dash to really sit in. And actually, the original camera position here for the actual cockpit um, is uh, slightly different to the actual original version again because the people have been just like patching up with these patches. So, you know, it's it's that it's one of those kind of buses that isn't really complete at release, and then people have to actually fix it themselves. So it's a bit sad that the develop uh, the the um, the creators of this bus just kind of rushed it really. This fit, it feel, uh, I like I like how the cab actually feels really nice and kind of like homey and kind of it's very it's very secure. Like just look at how thick this door is. It's crazy. I want to open it. Just yeah, there you go. <laughs> Leave it open there a bit. You have all these kind of cool buttons and stuff. Most of them are actually like you can use them, which is pretty cool. I like when most buttons and like the in the kind of like dashboard work, which is really really nice. I don't know, nothing too much. I'm gonna actually put on the. Uh, I'm gonna put a bit of a uh, bit of the heater on because it is pretty cold. I don't want my like future passengers to get like too annoyed or whatever. And that, let's just set up as well our bus. Go into the LSK here. It'll be one one zero 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 zero, and I do believe the code will be zero zero two. And press enter. Then press enter again, Rosnick, yes, enter, and that should be fine on there. And then if we press this Q button here on the dash, that basically puts it up on the destination matrix. So if I go up here, we can now see it's uh, showing 110 to S plus U, Banhauf, Zulog, Gatten, which is very nice, that's Herzale. And I have to say, I love the I love the uh, destination matrix. Really nice, really clear. Love the white. It's 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 just very very professional, very Scania, very Bosch. <laughs> but that's pretty much all to really set up really with the bus. I think we can get on. I think what's the time? We have about four minutes, so we'll drive around. We have to actually go around to get. If I put the directions on, you'll see the one one O terminus is actually here. So we're going to have to do like a, a little bit of a loop to go back around and actually get to the first stop. Which is annoying, but, you know, I'll do it. You can also see here my side mirrors are a little bit frosted up. Well, with a magic click of a button down here, this one. They demist in record record time. My car does not demist that quick. That's crazy. But that's pretty nice. I like how that's simulated. But I think we should now really get moving, shouldn't we? And if you notice that I'm repeating, if you've watched the bonus video and you're coming to this video, you can see that I'm repeating some stuff or whatever, but you have to imagine that that video was actually supposed to be this video, so that's why there might be a bit, it might look like things are repeated, but I try, I'll try and make it not too obvious or whatever, or too similar or whatever, but obviously that it's the same bus and it's the same like map I'm doing it on, so it's, it's going to be hard. <laughs> anyway, uh... Other than that, I think we can get a going. We can go into drive. We can close the door. The door animations are also slightly different. And if you hear that, that is pretty good sound insulation, isn't that? The door's closed and the sound's gone off the engine. I like that. It's very nice. It means that this soundproofing on this bus is damn good. Let's get... Uh, can we move? No, we have... Uh, have a handbrake on. Let's uh, get moving. Let's uh, start our journey on line 110. Right. I've actually found this look, look there's a little bit of a problem where it this kind of start up with uh, with this bus is a bit annoying. Where it 
it, it kind of accelerates, but it's not accelerating, which is a bit annoying. I don't know why it does that. It's a bit a bit weird. But I kind of I kind of see when I, once I stop once I pick up some passengers, it kind of corrects itself for some really weird reason. Right. There we go. No? <laughs> I don't know. I have to play around. Like, I have to say, even this patch, this like, I still find problems, and this is like one of them where it just... I don't know what the hell's going on here. It just has... It's having a bit of a hissy fit. And we're just turning on here very nice and slowly. There we go. There we go. Nicely does it. And there we go, and then it's corrected itself. It's so weird. It's like that first little bit, it just it doesn't want to do anything. And then this now it's now it's acting like a normal bus. It's pretty weird, I have to say. That's that's what I would describe this bus. Weird. <laughs> Definitely. Uh now, are we on time? Uh eighteen past, we will go to about seventeen. Uh, 17. If you can't see the uh, things and stuff, I've switched back to actually recording with uh, with uh, DX Story, so that's why you can't see the things. I just I I just prefer DX Story. It just the quality wise on videos is just much better with it than OBS, and that's why. I guess we don't have any passengers, so we can just uh, just get out of here really. So there we go, the acceleration's working, but it wasn't working then when we actually when we actually just started playing. Just weird. Honestly, just absolutely weird with this bus. Has a weird mind of its own. Right, are you guys coming on? Yes you are. And there's no station brake, which is one thing you have to get used to. The station brake button's actually Oh Oh, sorry about that. I will close that. <laughs> Many apologies. You want a 140 ticket. Uh, 140, there you go. And I need to give you back uh, 860, right? 8. No, yes. 860. There we go. Little change. I gave you the right change. But yeah, I have the ticket selling on, which is good. So I can sell my tickets, because I like selling the tickets on uh, on this map. Right, that's not correct. I think I think got confused there with the announcements. I might have to skip. No, actually, wait. No, that's got. That I think the announcements have got themselves a bit confused. Right. We're taking a left here, I do believe. I love the sound of the indicator stalk. It's very, very bosh. Very, very Scania-like. I love it. I'm going to comment a lot about that stalk. There we go. Oh, what do you know? Traffic lights love to troll me like that. It's a, it's a natural thing in Omsi. Very nice. It definitely drives a lot better with this uh, hotfix patch, I have to say. Like, I remember when I drove it the first time without any kind of patch to it. It, The steering didn't feel right. The steering still feels a bit loose in this, but it definitely feels a bit more controllable. And a bit more doable with this patch. Uh, as I said, there was ca kangaroo jumpings uh, that this bus was doing because the suspension kind of setting was a bit weird. And I'm not kidding you; it, it, it literally did kangaroo hops. Oh my god! All the all the emergency lights just came on there. But I like with this patch I can actually open like in the in the normal version of this bus the all the doors are uh, automatic, 
So I like that they've made the doors manual. Which is very nice. I like manual doors. I like being in full control of my bus at all times. It's very nice. I need to actually check if the announcement is uh, working properly. That's something I need to check. Hertestrasse. So I need to check if the Hertestrasse is actually our next stop because I might have to shuffle through some of these bus stop names. Alright, need to stop here. Need to check this. Nothing's coming. We can go. Uh, Hertestrasse. I think, yeah, I think Hertestrasse was the correct one. Right, hello. Do we have any more budding ticket sellers? Ticket buyers, I mean. <laughs> I'm the one selling the bloody ticket. I think I do believe we're taking a right here. It's going to be a bit of a sharp turn, actually. Because obviously, as you see this bus now pull out here from that road that we're going into, that's the actual bus that drives this route. And then I've decided, hey, let's take a huge bendy bus Scania, Scania bendy bus, and let's uh, try and do that, Re recreate it. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be mad. This is going to be mad. Oh, I think we're, all, we're okay. We're okay. We did that actually pretty well. I'm surprised. We managed that. We managed all right, guys. Also, what this actual bus has is it has fog lights, like actual working fog lights, like uh, the back fog lights work or whatever. I actually might just show you now at this station back in Heimerstrasse, which is correct. Right. So right now, if I go at the back, the fog lights are at the very bottom here. They're the two, these two sets. And the fog lights at the front are these, uh, oh, <laughs> under the map, under the seat. Um, the front fog lights are these two at the bottom. And then if I go to these two things here, you have the fog light buttons. If I put them on, obviously you have the front fog lights, which look very nice. They illuminate the, the streets. And the back fog lights come on, which is very nice. But we're going to turn them off because it's not foggy. Ready to go. Let's uh, get a move on. So far, no one's bothered to. Uh, no one's bothered to come off my bus, which is very unusual. But it's a weird part of the day, actually. I think it's about midday almost, but it feels like it's like the evening time with this kind of weather, and even the street lights are on. That's how dark it is. And I have to actually use my lights. Going fast through here. This is a very nice little suburbia. Kind of urban suburbia. Ooh, we're going to have to slow down here. We're actually letting people off. Let's have a look in the external camera. And it's at the back, which I have to open the door for. I don't think anyone's coming off in the middle. Complain about the low temperature in the, in the bus. I've put the. Oh, I didn't put the fan on. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Put the temperature up. There you go. That should start warming up the bus, which is fine. Let's close front door and back door. There we go. That's fine. Nicely does it. But I do, if 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 you guys, if any of you guys have actually watched the bonus video now and watching this now. Uh, do you notice a difference between the quality of the bus I was driving in the bonus video to this bus? You can already tell that like, the position of the camera is completely different in this uh, in this view. Like it's a bit more back, which is nice because I can see most of the dashboard, which is really nice. Oh, a little fast there, it's getting little freezes. I don't know if you guys have noticed like the difference between the bonus video and this video because there is quite a difference. That's it, cool. Do you believe we're going straight here? No alterations. 
And parking brake on. Nice. But I'd love to see more Scania buses in the game. It would be cool if they were making a Scania bus for the uh, London South uh, uh, map that Reese is making. That would be that would be pretty epic if they were doing that. But they're, and they're not. I actually think now, to come to think about, I think he's not doing the uh, he's not doing the 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 e e Enviro 200 anymore. I think that's he scrapped the idea to do that. But I think he's doing he's actually going to do it as a bonus bus for people that uh, that get into that bought the beta. Because I think that he's he's now differentiating. Because obviously he's hired by um, now by Aerosoft to publish the the route he's building, the London route. People are now getting confused that if they bought the beta, that they they're going to get the the full release one for free, which is not the case because the one that he's building is much bigger than the actual beta map that everyone assumes is the actual map, which is not. But yeah, I think everyone who has the Beatles bought like the three pound beta map, then will get like a discount off the main one, and I think get like the E two hundred. I think I'm not too sure. He was uh, he was right. Like you can check out the Facebook and stuff of the of that of the London Surf project and all the uh, gossips there. Hello, welcome on board. Do you like my Scania bus? It is awesome. It is Swedish. Yeah, it's nice to think that I'm not driving a German bus for once. I'm driving a Swedish bus. It's fantastic to think about that. Because everything is pretty much German, and it's nice to have a bit of variation. I like that the Swedes are... Well, Vol both Volvo and Scania make buses, and they're pretty dominant in London, so you know. But this this bus is nice. Like if we were to have like say in London, if we were to have bendy buses again, I would definitely probably oh stop 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 Yes. Good bus and all the aero lights come on. <laughs> if I if if London was to have like bendy buses again, I would probably choose this over a Sitaro. Oh, it would be hard though. That's a that's a hard choice between this and a Sotaro. Is it? Well, I don't know. Oh, we can go. That's quite nice there. I took just a screenshot there while we were waiting. We're getting into the nitty gritty part of uh, Berlin. Taking a right here. We're now on the kind of main stretch road where like X10 and everyone is. Ooh. Uh sorry about that guys. I just had a bit of a, a bit of an error there just come up for some really weird reason. But it seemed not to crash my game. Which is weird. Because normally errors do crash games, but that somehow just uh Oh, and we're on time, that's good. Supposed to be here at this time. Anyway, close all the doors. Hopefully that error won't come up again and we could hopefully finish this video. Because, you know, OMSI has just been... just It's been OMSI. That, that's all I need to say, really. It's been OMSI. And uh, when it works, it's fabulous. When it doesn't work, it's literally the dog's... It's the dog's bollocks. And then again, there, I got the error again. What the hell? I'm getting out of memory errors, but it's not crashing my game, which means I have enough memory, but it's just being a bitch about it and saying I have a, I'm I don't have any memory. I know that's really weird. Anyway, what's this? Quaver Platz. Right. Open up every door. Oh, hello there. You want me to tell you about my day, little girl? I've been having errors from Omsi saying that I have out of memory, even though it's not crashing the game, it's letting me continue. Uh, one... Okay, girl, don't, don't worry, I'm going to set you up. There you go. Have a nice trip. 
Right. I think I've never had that in Umpsy. I've never had that in Umpsy where it's giving me an error and then it says you can continue. Like, how weird is that? Is that normal? Gives me an out of memory error and then it just allows me to continue for some really weird reason? I don't know. But Omsi has been. Omsi will always be a bitch to me. Always. Light. What? Strasser? Just tell. Basically, telling my passengers my Omsi. My Omsi 2 problems. Is that, a, is that a car parked in the bus lane? Seriously? Jesus. Alright. What's this? Bleibstrasse. I don't... Actually, to be honest, I'm not trusting of the... Uh, I'm not trusting the announcements. I think the announcements might be a tad bit wrong on this one. At least the countdown's correct. <laughs> Close all doors. There we go. Hopefully no problems. We're very close to Hertz LA anyway, so hopefully we can uh, end this trip and I can give sort of a verdict on this bus. Even though I think you guys already know what the verdict is. And if you watched the bonus video, you would have known the verdict anyway. Ubanhof Ullenstrasse. I need to check that. Ubanhof Ullenstrasse. Ubanhof. Oh, and then I got another error, and this one was about an AI, which is fabulous. Ah, yeah, it is Ullenstrasse. Okay, the the uh, the announcements are working, but the game isn't. Right. Anyone coming on here? I didn't even check. Because I've been too busy worrying about if the damn game will work. No, that's good. We can go. What is this bus doing here? It's like always there. It's so annoying. It's blocking the damn bus lane. A bus blocking the damn bus lane. That's just so ironic, isn't it? But yeah, so I've gotten two out of memory errors and an AI error and it's somehow let in, it's well again another error and somehow I'm and another error. Is this going to be like literally the, the the bus lane of errors where I'm just going to get error after error after error after and I have to actually turn left. Oh dear god. Oh and the and there's another error. If you're hearing all these windows noises, those are those are errors I'm getting for the game. I don't know how but, and somehow we're continuing, which is I think brilliant. Uh, open up those two for, oh. More errors. Fabulous. Close those doors. There we go. I think I might need to reinstall Banner X10 basically. Think but oh god wow. There you go, there's there's they're the problems. It's also because I think um Dioma one two three off the forums uh, one, uh gave me his vehicle folder because he gave me another AI consist folder for Berlin X ten. And I might have I might have that might have interrupted a few things, essentially. But as long as it doesn't crash my game, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy if we can get to the end. Which we are, finally. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening? So this is exactly how I'm going to end this video as well, like how I ended the bonus video. Would you believe that? And this is going to be this is going to be the uh, this is going to be the thumbnail. 
This is actually legitimately going to be. It's actually a really nice thumbnail, I have to say. But this is legitimately going to be the thumbnail. I'm not going to even. I'm not going to even lie. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This, uh, both these videos are kind of like really, like it's leaving a sour patch in my mouth, literally, because basically my Madden X10 map is broken, and then also this bus is sort of broken as well. So just the whole moral of this story and this bonus map is that the Scania bus is broken, but can be driven, and if you have a proper Berlin X10 map, can be driven as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed what was off line 110, and uh, we were almost there. We could literally see the last stop in sight, but then the game decided, hey, I want to have a nervous breakdown on you. Well, I allowed it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed of what you could have seen of the Scania bus. I'll try in the future at some point to hopefully have played this Scania bus on a map that works. And, uh, yeah. Warning, the frames per second are very low, below 10. We struggle when you reduce the options. Should you go, <laughs> then you should, <laughs> no. Leave me to talk to my subscribers, please. I will have none of this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm apologizing massively that it ended like the bonus video, but, you know, problems. And this is all, like, I would I would do a proper video, but the thing is, I, I, I've, I've done this now, and I've done so much. I've put so much time to just try and make this and the bonus video. I'll just, I'll just have this now. I hope you guys enjoy it with what it was, and I hope you found it maybe a bit entertaining or whatever. But would I get the Scania bus from whatever you can, with the link down below, whatever? Yeah, go try and make it work, basically, is my opinion to you. <laughs> if you can, then you know, good for you, and it's a, probably when it works, it's a nice bus to drive and probably more of a nicer bus to look at than drive, essentially. Uh, the shoutouts again go to Gordon, Little uh, little Dog, and World of Trains. That's again, Gordon, Little Dog, and World of Trains. Their links and stuff will be down below. Please show them some love. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry this had to be this kind of video and the bonus video as well, but I hope you enjoyed it. Just, um, you know, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so... Uh, it's so... Oh. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.